Kia ora year 12 and 13. This is question 1E from the 2013 integration paper and this is a request from Ivy. I thought that I'd done all of the old um, calculus papers but I just realised I haven't done some of the very early ones so I'll try and get some of the excellence questions done today. This is a question that also came up in the 2019 paper and it's about the energy needed to pump water out of, out of a tank and it does look pretty horrible when you first see it. There are two keys to success in this question. The first one is to think carefully about what's a variable and what's a constant. And the second one is to be confident with similar triangles. So I'm going to go through the first part of this very slowly. Um, so some of you will probably find this too slow, but some of you won't. We're given a formula, and it's this one here. And you can see that the variable that we're integrating with respect to is the height of the water in a tank. So the following things are constants in this question. We've got K, we're told is a constant. We've got big H. Now big H is the height of the tank when it's full. And in this question we're going to have to compare two tanks. So H, big H is a constant. And then in the formula in here we can see that we've got the height of the water at any point in time. That's my variable. And then A of H is the area of the surface of water at this instant. We've got a cylindrical tank and we've got a conical tank. So we know that the surface area of the water in each of those is going to be a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. But there's a big difference between the two tanks. So in the first tank situation, we've got a cylinder. And the surface area for the cylinder doesn't change as the tank em empties out. So the surface area for this one here is going to be a is equal to pi times big R squared, right, which is a constant. The conic um, tank is a bit different though because the surface area is going to drop as the height drops. So I'm going to do this hard part of the question now, and this is the key to getting this whole question. We can think about what happens as the water level falls. So when we start out here at the top, we've got um, a cross section which is a triangle, and we can draw out that bit of the cross section. The height will be h and the radius will be big R. But we know that as the water level drops, the relationship between the height and the radius can't change. So the height at any instant and the radius at any instant have to be in proportion to the tank shape. So using similar triangles from year 10, we can get this relationship. And if you've watched lots of these videos on excellence questions, you know that similar triangles comes up all the time. What we're trying to do here is to get down to one variable because going back to the formula, we can see that we need a as a function of h because we're integrating with respect to h. So looking at this, that's not too hard to do at all. We can write the other way around, r over h is equal to big R over big h. And so r is equal to h times r over big h. That means that we can now find the area, which is pi r squared, at any instant in terms of h and not r. So I'm going to take this and substitute it in. So we get pi times this. Now this still looks messy, but we kind of know that lots of things will probably simplify out when we do our integration. And that's what's going to happen. So we get a, a pi h squared big R squared over big h squared. Let's just go back to the question and check what we've got to show. Right, so we're getting pretty close to having something that we can integrate here. And we have to show that the energy needed to empty the conical tank is one-sixth the energy needed to empty the cylindrical tank. So all we have to do now is to do two lots of integration and then hope that um, one number works out to be one-sixth of the other. So some of you are probably going to stop watching the video at this point, and all of you should now pause the video and have a go at doing those two integrations. I'm going to do the cylindrical one first, because it is slightly easier. Okay, so I've just um, substituted in my area formula here, and now I'm going to pull all of the constants out to the front of that integral. So we get pi times k big R squared, 
just be really careful to distinguish between the big H and the little h because big H is a constant. But this is a very easy level 2 integral now. So we've got big H times H minus H squared on 2 evaluated at those limits. So we have H big H squared minus half of big H squared minus 0 minus 0. Now remember that whenever you're doing integration, never just ignore that lower limit because it can cause some nasty surprises, especially with um, trig functions like cosine of 0. So cleaning this up, we get pi k big R squared times h squared on 2. And we're just going to leave that for now. We're going to call that, it's not a, that is e for the cylinder. So that's how much energy it takes to empty that cylinder. And because we've done all that work earlier on the area of the conic um, circle, this one's going to be very similar. So we get E is equal to this. So from H to 0, K times the maximum height minus H times this. And again, we take the constants to the front, just makes it much easier to see what I'm doing. So pi big R squared K over big H squared. And we're left with this little integral, H minus H times H squared. Um, I do think it's worth expanding that out before you integrate. I know some of you in my class are going to be groaning at that. But it's still pretty easy to make small mistakes on the easy parts of the question, and it means that you won't be able to show what you've got to show. So finally now we're getting to the integration. So we have big H times H cubed over 3 minus H to the 4 over 4 evaluated at these limits. Now hopefully you can see that we're going to end up with a denominator in here of 12, um, which is very nice because 12 is 6 times 2, which is what we had earlier. And again the lower limit gives me 0 and 0, so cleaning all of that up gives me this pi r squared k over h squared and then when we get a common denominator here, whoops, yep, that's right, 4h to the power of 4 minus 3h to the power of 4 over 12, which gives me pi r squared k big H squared, I'll go very slowly, h to the power of 4 over h squared times 12. Remember it's a show that question, so you really want to make sure that you've made it pretty obvious what you're doing. There we go. And if we look at that and compare that to the one we had on the last page, we can see that that's equal to 1 sixth times the energy level needed to empty out the cylinder. So that's all. So if you're watching this and you're not sure what to do to practice, um, go through your D&D books or the harder parts of Delta and just look for similar triangles questions. They come up in both the integration paper, but they also come up in the harder related rates question in differentiation. Thanks for watching.